I've been getting so many comments asking if these paints actually work on canvases. Well, the present that I made painted in my paints. Hello you guys, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, today we are down in the makeup studio, but we're not going to be doing any art on my face today. We're going to be doing some art on an actual canvas. I am so excited to get painting again. Now the reason we're doing this video today is because as you guys know, my new makeup brand Painted just recently launched and I wanted to say a major thank you guys so, so much for all of your love and support on our first ever brand launch. I cannot believe the positive feedback and I'm so excited for you guys to get your Create paints in your hand and see all the beautiful looks that you make with them. Now, this product right here, these little babies are paint tubes of Create Paint, and these are multi-use paints that you can use on your face, but I've been getting so many comments asking if these paints actually work on canvases. And to be completely honest with you guys, I have no idea. Not a single clue. I have spent years and years formulating these products to work perfectly on your face, but I've never actually tried putting them on a real life canvas. I mean, they are paints, so in theory, they should work, but in today's video, we're gonna put that to the test and find out. I have my full range here in front of me. I have the canvas with a little sketch ready to go. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm also super excited for today's YouTube video because if you guys have been a long time subscriber, you might remember when I converted my eyeshadow palette, my James Charles X Morphe palette into watercolors and paint a picture with that too. I actually still have the canvas right here down in the studio. This was it. All these years later, it's still here. This was such a fun video to do for me as well because obviously I love doing art, but this was a different type of art for me. And I loved reading your guys' feedback and positivity. And I genuinely thought it was so funny that when I posted that video, everyone's like, oh my God, he can actually paint? Duh. I do it on my face every day. For today's actual painting, I am really excited because we're gonna be doing something a little sentimental, a little special, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys about it while I squeeze out my paint tubes into a little artistry palette. Um, I recently had a video on TikTok go really viral when I went home to New York for a couple of days to go see my parents. Now, I love seeing my parents, but this will be the last time that I'm probably going back to New York for a while because my parents just sold our childhood home, which was super emotional. Um, basically, in the video, I talked about how my dad is a contractor. He built... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh no, the paints are cruelty free and vegan, but I would not recommend them for human consumption. My dad's a contractor, so he builds houses, renovates kitchens, basements, bathrooms, the whole nine yards. And his biggest goal growing up was to build his dream home for his family one day, and he did. We built the house when I was in second grade and we lived there up until I graduated high school. And it's been like their dream project. But as my parents have gotten a little bit older, as my brother and I have moved out of the house, it's just the two of them in a giant home on five acres of land. So as beautiful and as amazing as it was, it just has become too much for them to take care of. So they made the super hard decision to sell it and move out. It's been very emotional for the whole family. I wanted to go back home and see it one last time. You know, I got to show you guys my makeup studio that my dad built for me, where I actually got started in this career in the first place. So it was, it was really, really sad to have to say goodbye, but everything happens for a reason. And you know, hopefully this just means that my parents are one step closer to moving close to me in LA. Not too close though. <laughs> Okay, I have the full palette of crepe paints all ready to go. Let's get painting, shall we? How do, where do I wanna start? I feel like I need to start laying in the colors first and then going from there. So I'm gonna start off with the sky first because that's like a big portion of the painting. Let's just get some blue. Okay, mix a little bit of blueprint, a little bit of ghosted together to create this beautiful, gorgeous sky blue. Okay, not it's definitely not giving natural. This is not a natural sky. We're gonna fix that up. Okay, we're gonna add some clouds, we're gonna add some dimension, and we're gonna make it look gorgeous and beautiful. I'm not Bob Ross, okay? I'm not fucking Picasso, never claimed to be. My specialty when it comes to art is usually portraits, okay? Love drawing a beautiful person. That's about all I got, if I'm being completely honest. So we're gonna we're gonna try to, you know, really make this look great. And it's actually going onto the canvas really, really nicely. I wasn't really sure how it was going to apply. And to be fair, you know, this has only been two seconds, so it might not stay this great forever. There's obviously a lot more oil in cosmetics paint than there would be in regular acrylic paint. But um, you can buy cheap acrylic paints at the store for like a couple of cents. We're gonna be real, okay? If you were going to be painting an actual picture, as much as I would love for you to shop with my brand and check out the products, let's let's be smart consumers here. You should buy the shitty cheap acrylic paints from the craft store. <laughs> They're gonna give you the same effect. If you're gonna buy these, definitely use them for your face. That is what I worked years to actually formulate them for. This video is just for funsies today. It's all about being honest as a business person, you know? 
Just swirling some white into the sky to act as some clouds. Beautiful. There are no happy accidents. Or ever, it's, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Because there are no mistakes in art. There are. There are. I was just going to say, there definitely are. <laughs> Now, my backyard was filled with lots and lots of trees. Lots of trees. Maybe we should start putting in some grass too. Okay, this is all grass up in here. There's some little like trees and bushes that we'll get in later on, but for right now, let's, we're gonna just make this all green. This is all green over here. We're gonna put the green over here too. This is a little hill at the foot of the driveway. Okay, you know, that's giving, that's the yard. Okay, so now we're gonna put some trees in the background. Do you like that? Do you like that tree that I just put there? Yeah. Do you like evergreen? Um, sure. There was five acres of trees back here, so I'm gonna need to be able to showcase that somehow in this painting. We're gonna leave this kind of like this for right now. That's looking like beautiful so far. What's that big white patch on the left? This will also be a giant tree in the right. foreground. Should I fill that in now, perhaps? Yeah. 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 Okay. Should I put in the driveway? That's like a big yeah. part. I'm gonna use my black create paint. And I'm gonna mix in some white. We're gonna map out the driveway here. So this is gonna be a big hunk. Wow, that went on so smoothly. Look at that. That's called quality product. Oh my gosh. Would you drive down that? I would. Okay, now we're gonna put in the house. And this I am super excited for. Like I said, my dad built the dream house. That was his biggest goal. As a contractor, he wanted to buy a piece of land and build a dream home for his wife and beautiful family. And that is exactly what he did. So when we were in second grade, my dad bought this plot of land in a little town in New York. And this was all a swamp. This entire piece of property was a swamp. It was trees, it was mud, it was a forest. It was not a suitable area to build a home in. But my dad saw the potential and he spent years and years clearing out the swamp, getting the permits from the city, and he was finally able to build the dream home. And we moved into this house when I was in about second grade, so I had to switch school districts. I actually went to a Catholic school, so I had sisters as teachers when I was in first and second grade. That's Maybe that's how the brand got started. We have like, like a lot of the house done. I'm gonna do the roof now. I don't have any fun stories to tell you about the roof. So I'm probably just gonna do it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna paint the shed. What memories do you have in the shed, James? <laughs> I don't have any memories in the shed. I never once went in there. I know. So what would I be doing in my fucking dad's shed? Did you ever lock your dog in there? My dog? <laughs> oh my God. Now, in the TikTok, I talked about how my parents sleep in separate beds. And this caused not a lot of controversy, but there was definitely some interesting comments about it. Um, and I thought that I would like talk about that for a second. So my parents, are still very happily in love and married, but they do sleep in separate beds. They've been together for, I think they just had their 20th wedding anniversary a couple of years ago, or maybe like last year. Um, my mom snores and she is literally awful to sleep around. It's bad. It's really fucking bad. And my dad moves around in his sleep. I have also noticed this when I have traveled with him. It's not good. So they've decided for the health and safety of their own marriage that they would sleep in separate beds. And they made this decision a couple of years ago and it has been amazing for them ever since. So normalize that and putting your marriage before sleep. <laughs> I'm sure they still have fun together, but I, I don't want to think about that. So yeah. Do you like that? Look at that gorgeous tree up there. That's called oak. Okay, I'm gonna put some nice white into the tree to add some um, color variation, you know, to the bark. Did you go to the ice cream truck when you were coming around there? Oh, that was my favorite thing in the entire world. My favorite one ever. I never actually got, I didn't really get ice cream at, like when we were home that often. When I did get ice cream is when we would go to Cape Cod for the summer. And they only, they had this one ice pop that was on the beaches of that they had in Cape Cod, but I've never seen it in another ice cream truck. It was, you know, the, like the, the bomb pops, but it was a sour cherry bomb pop. They never, and I've never seen an ice cream truck have them. Every single time that I've ever had one, I always look for the same thing and I've never been able to find it again, except for the ones in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. But it was a sour cherry bomb pop and they were so good. They were so good. And they had a gumball at the very, very bottom if you sucked it all the way down. And I always did. <laughs> and they were so good. They were so fucking good. I don't know, my dad will be happy. 
my mom doesn't care. She was ready to move. <laughs> She'll like it too, of course, but my it's my dad who I am excited about gifting this to because it means a lot to him. Okay. I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for today. I am really loving how this is turning out so far. I'll probably pop down here a couple more times over the course of the next couple of days, just to, you know, add some more finishing touches, redo the entire thing, who knows? My parents will be here in LA next week and I wanna give this to them in person. I'm very, very excited. As you guys know, I have a really close relationship with them. I love them so much. They are everything to me. And, and this whole move, while it is, you know, really exciting for them, has also been really emotional as well. There's a lot of really beautiful memories here and it was super sad to see it go. And if I'm emotional, I know he is losing it. So hopefully this will be a really nice present for them to hang in the new house to remember the amazing times that we had together as a family. The video isn't over just yet. I will film when I actually give this to them so you guys can see their reaction. But for right now, I think it's safe to say, painting a painting with my Create Paints was a success. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out all of our products on painted.co. Once again, I can't thank you enough for all the love and support on this first launch. There are many more products coming very, very soon that I know you guys are going to be absolutely fucking obsessed with. And I cannot wait for you guys to get these in your hands. All right, I love you. Keep on watching. I'll see you in a second. It's been a couple of weeks. My parents are in town for the launch party tonight and I have the painting here. I'm about to give it to them. I hope that they're excited and I love it. Oh, I'm so nervous. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, so this week we filmed a YouTube video getting ready for the painted launch because one of the questions that my followers kept asking was can you actually use your paints to paint a picture? And I said, oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> So we tried it out for a YouTube video. It took us like eight hours to film. So I wanted to give you guys a little present that I made painted with my paints. Oh, that's beautiful, James. That's all with paint? That's all with your pride? Yeah. Holy shit. Thank you, oh, James. that's our house that we just sold and moved out of after 17 years. It's gorgeous, holy shit. <laughs> I thought you would like, maybe you could put it in the new house somewhere, on the wall, decor. Absolutely. Got my little flowers, flowers over here, yeah. the tree. Got the and the red out. is bright, it's pretty spot on too, James. <laughs> of course you guys. Thank you. Love you, Love you more. I also have another present too, of course. <laughs> it's for your birthday. I know we're obviously several months in advance. <laughs> you are just a plan ahead. Well, What's going on with you? Normally, no, I'm not. Exactly. But this gift is timely. You had one request last time I was with you to do something very special with mom when something opened up and I made it happen. No way! <laughs> what is it? You too. I got you guys tickets to the one of the shows that you two oh make it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard to get the stupid ticket there. It's all about everywhere. Thank but I found you. some good ones. You guys are like right near the front. You, oh, you too? You're going to oh, Vegas, baby. Too. I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to see you too. <laughs> oh my God. All right, you guys. Well, this officially answers the question. Can you use your Create Paints to actually paint a picture? The answer is yes, you can. Thank you for following. Thank you for supporting. Make sure you guys check out our launch at painted.co and keep your eyes and ears open for a restock coming very soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm going bye. to YouTube, baby. <laughs> Just say bye. Yeah. <laughs>